Okay, time for tutorial four in the sketching tutorials. This is fully defining a sketch. There's three parts, activity one, activity two, activity three. I suggest you watch this video and then follow along the instructions. So I'm going to start with activity one. I'm going to move these instructions off to the side and I've got fusion going. So first thing we're going to do is create a sketch. They want you to use the top plane, which is the green red plane. So click that. That's and it, you see top shows up on this little um, view cube. Okay. Um, first thing to do. So go up here to create. Do rectangle center rectangle. Click the origin. Okay, then draw it about, yeah, you know, about like, let's see, like about like there. Okay, and it doesn't matter exactly. They want you to, they want you to be approximate so that you can refine it with the constraints. So just rough it in there. Okay, then um, let's see what's next. Oh, then you can just press the L key and it'll start a line. I gotta escape now. L. No, that's not working. I don't know, but let's go create line. Okay. Then let's see. You want this midpoint to this midpoint. There's a line right there. Now then, so click the line after you've made it. So escape out of the line command and then click the line. Then go over to this sketch palette dialog and click this construction icon. So you just turn this line into a construction line. Then draw a circle there. So escape and start the circle command. Do it at the origin, which is also the midpoint of the line, the construction line you just drew. And um, then uh, just click anywhere. So that's a undefined circle. It's blue. And uh, note that this thing added some these other construction lines for you. We're not going to use them, but they're there. Okay, then do another rectangle, two-point rectangle. Just kind of plop it in there. Okay. I'm making it not centered on purpose. That's what they want you to do. Then, then, uh, okay, finish that. Click this line, hold down shift, click this line, turn them into construction. Then add an arc, a three point arc. So end point, end point, and then on purpose, some random point. Make sure it's not in the middle. Okay, then do another arc, end point, end point, and then random arc not in the middle. That limits the amount of constraints that it adds automatically. So it's adding a lot of constraints, like it's adding this horizontal constraint. Here's another horizontal constraint. Here's a, um, let's see, a perpendicular constraint. Here's a, this guy is parallel to this guy. Um, this guy, so it adds a lot of constraints. This is at the midpoint. Oh, we did that. This one's parallel to this one. You can delete these constraints, but it adds them for you. It kind of guesses, and, you, and you, I guess you just want to sort of look them over and double check that that's in fact what you want. Okay, um, it's time for a mirror. So go over here to modify, no, create, mirror, and then click and drag to select those things. It should say 12 selected. I guess what that is is the lines, there's one, two, three, four, and then the arcs would be 5, 6, and then the points are 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I guess that's what the 12 is. Um, okay, then click this 
select button here for mirror line and cl click the construction line through the middle that you drew and then say okay okay those things are mirrored now look it adds a whole bunch of these symmetry constraints up here see that's symmetry it adds you know a bunch of symmetry I'm not sure what symmetry with what like I guess that's symmetric with that and like this point is selected symmetric with some other point I'm not sure what how to find out what these symmetry relationships what objects they're they're um, they're pairing with you know but anyway um, I guess we'll find out later so let's see what's next oh um, we mirrored the cutout we um, that's it for activity one okay so going on to activity two we're gonna add some constraints okay so first is concentric so click this concentric constraint button we want this arc to be concentric with this arc see what it does it moves the center point both of the arcs over here and it puts this little symbol by them and then it does the same thing on the bottom because of one of these symmetry relationships I'm not sure which one but the, the stuff on the top is symmetric to the stuff on the bottom okay let's see that was concentric next we want the this new point to be vertically aligned with the hole here so that's this horizontal vertical um, constraint then okay first click the center that's your the one you want to stay still so click that first then click this one and it does that right it moves the center point for these two arcs so that it's vertically aligned with the hole in the middle um, what's next I want you to make these two arcs equal seems like they would be equal now because their centers are aligned yeah I'm not sure that they really need to be equal but it says to make them equal so we'll click equal then this one and this one okay they're equal I'm not sure how that's different than just being concentric but anyway just following the instructions okay that was that was adding more constraints that was part two or activity two so going on to activity three it's time to add dimensions so the first dimension okay there's a typo in the instructions that's saying to add a concentric constraint but what they really mean is a dimension so go up here and click this dimension thing click this first top line and then move your mouse up and click here key in 70 did it change yeah then click I'm still in the dimensioning command so then click this line and then go over here key in 114 then click this circle and drag off to the side here and type in 12 enter then click this this point right here and this point right here and go over click here and type 11 then click this point again and then this point again and then go over here and it looks pretty to line them up vertically although they don't have yeah click there 28 all right then something's not right here then um, then the arc right and you click this arc and then drag off over this away type in 17 yeah cool that's it that's really cool I really like this so 
you could change this to 25 and everything changes. Let's change it back to 17. You could change this to 35 and uh, nothing happened. 35, enter. It's not working. I don't know. Probably these corners would meet. What if I did um, 20? Yeah. I guess 30 would be. How big could it be anyway? What if let's do 30? You could do 30. I could probably do 31 maybe. Yeah, but if you keep going like 32. Yeah, at some point they're going to. 33. Let's see, 34. <laughs> yeah, well, that would be twice the radius, I think. Yes. Radius is 17, so you couldn't go more than twice that. 35 would fail. You get this little failure message down in here in the bottom left corner. Anyway, that's cool. So I'll change it back to what it's supposed to be 28. Oops. 28. Yeah, it's neat. I like it. You could change this to 60. It's great because like if you were doing this in AutoCAD, like if you change it to 25, it changes the top and the bottom. It just saves so much time. And everything's symmetric. Of course it would be symmetric. Like why wouldn't it, you know? And so it's just a lot less, it's a more higher level way of thinking about things in terms of the relationships between objects instead of the what did I do instead of the actual you know instead of dealing with so many little values here and there you're dealing with higher level concepts like what are the relationships between things okay that's it so get those four Get these four uh, tutorials done and send me a screenshot of the uh, final thing. All right, I'm gonna finish the sketch. You know what, I'm gonna extrude this. I just feel like it. So click the surface and uh, drag this guy up a tiny bit. Look at the plate. <clears throat> Shift and middle mouse drag. I'd like to put fillets on the corners. How do I do that? Create fillet. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. I one more fillet. Yeah, I don't know. Radius. That's failing. Anyway. Okay. Bye-bye.